Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay. Back in the Commonwealth with our child of Adam Ghoul, who is... Well, it's, you know, I'm taking this last few moments all along the water, because soon we're gonna be off the coasts, in back to the dark browns, some colors, which will be nice, of course, but definitely away from a significant portion of the colors we were used to, and uh, especially far away from the water. Oh, check this out. This must be the grave where uh, Kasumi's grandfather had passed. Oh, Kasumi's grandfather's sailor engineer. Interesting. Let's listen to this as we make our way back into the Commonwealth more. Granddad, I know you can't hear this, but I can't think of a better way to say goodbye. You taught me so much, and I won't forget any of it. I'm sorry that we'll never be able to fix up the old clunker we've got sitting in the boathouse. Wherever you are, I, I hope you're at peace. Oh, what a wonderful way to end our little Far Harbor excursion, huh? We've returned back the family to themselves. Kenji has grown to trust his daughter. Kasumi is, you know, thinks she's a synth. Maybe is, maybe isn't, but decided to go back to her family anyway. Oh, man. And now we have to return this back to Ellie in Diamond City, which is going to be hell of a walk. Um, if you guys recall this initial walk, this was pretty long. Pretty damn long. So, I don't expect us to be going there first. In fact, there's a couple things that we get to do and that is special delivery so we have died so many times trying to complete this mission and that was the last mission that we were trying to do like prior to going back into the commonwealth or excuse me to far harbor and so coming back into the commonwealth i think is going to be pretty fun because we've just killed left and right by all these people and now well we're going to be able to go back in and take oh that's a hunter Oh, that's a hunter. However, note the amount of... Well, for one, it seems kind of stuck. Um, but also note the fact that we're able to, like, demolish this... Whoa! We're able, actually able to do a lot of damage to this guy. I'm, uh... I'm, I'm happy about that. Ow. That hurt a lot. That's, uh... Wow. Four shots and we kill a Marler Cunner now? And a level up! Welcome back to the Commonwealth. Turns out that the people in Far Harbor were significantly stronger than the people here. Alright, so we're having a tough question. Do we pop up riflemen to just make our rifle do crazy higher damage? Or do we go ahead and keep popping up something like Ninja for a general everything else increases? I feel like riflemen seems like a safe thing for the moment because we'll go over and check our two-shot right now. Two-shot gamma pistol, pull her out. 103 damage. Fires too. That's insanely powerful. Sheesh. I mean, our Mahathorata is doing 186 with a single shot, which is amazing because we put the sniper on it. The Violent Ooh Baby does 90. Man, you know what? This is a this is a big upgrade of our gun. Honestly, against a lot of the non-human creatures of the Fallout world, it's not going to be as powerful because it's it doesn't have as much ballistic, I guess, compared to or it technically will heal whatever we shoot because it gives it the radiation damage too. It's just a kind of a something that's somewhat misguiding about that gun is it seems like it's going to be doing so 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 much damage with that extra 50 radiation damage but really that just removes the ability of the thing to heal that extra radiation damage still though that can be pretty high power damage you know like all of a sudden you know you shoot someone a couple times and they can't and a lot of times they'll stim pack and so if they can't heal that back Sweet. We, uh, we got him to our own, then. Okay, I hear a sentry bot. A sentry bot! We haven't heard sentry bots in forever! Oh, that's kind of fun. Hello, Gunner's place where everybody's insane. Parsons, whatever, whatever. Look at the, how these shadows are moving. They move with the way that I look at the world. I really hope that's actually just shadows and not, uh, something else glitchy that I'm gonna have to restart everything for. <laughs> Hello, Parsons State Asylum. It's wonderful to see you again. It's been a long time. I don't know how many in-game days since we've done this, but uh, we're different now. Very different. So we could probably actually... 
Yeah, we could actually probably fight everybody here without getting Place demolished now. You best move along. All right, you know what? Edward, Edward sent me. It's funny going through this part because we've already gone through that story part so many times. We've just died a bunch doing it. Which I'm curious, uh, will we actually find a bed around here at some point? I mean, that was the biggest problem and why we kept having trouble here is because there wasn't a bed for us to save at. Anyway, let's uh, let's do this with some of our new toys, like the well dam, maybe the violent ooh baby, because it'd be quiet. But I kind of like using the two shot camera pistol. All right, here we go. Don't see anybody quite yet. Light on, light off. All right, still hidden. Ah, eh, we'll pull out the violent ooh baby for now. They won't remember her. A lot of talking going on in this location. What do you think of this? Oh my god. Are they shooting each other? I uh, I it seemed like they were shooting each other, but I take it back. I don't think they're doing it anymore. Ooh, look at look at how much power we got. Hold on. Let's make it a single death, shall we? Ooh, no, you know what? Actually, let's pull up the moth Torata to do this. Mm, waste of ammo. What about this one? This one might actually kill him in a single shot because it fires two, and I think it only takes into consideration this single sh round. Huh? No, it didn't take into consideration both. Oh well. <laughs> Boop. Boop. <laughs> now? Is now the time? Critical. Boop. Look at this. We just waltz in, popping everybody off. No problem. Ugh. Our powers. Insane. We are the superpower. Wow. That was it? There was just two of them? Jesus. Mysterious serum. Alright, so that was the thing we're picking up then. And then we return to Cabot House. That was all that took. Wow. Wow. Oh, so she did kill one of these guys up here. That's kind of interesting. I didn't really hear what they were talking about, but... Alright, um... Get... God, I love the physics. Oh, we almost got a basket. Nice. Oh, look at this! Save right here. This will be nice. And, uh, she's dead. This poor girl. Oh, there's a few more. Hey! There you guys are. I was a kind of... Oh my gosh, look at how many of them there are. Can I not see right now because of, like, the how dark it is or something? Yeah, I seem to be just missing a lot of them. So, uh, let's do this the way that I've learned to work. Perfect. All three. All three. That was one. Oh, wait. Ooh, legendary raider. Um, here, let's back off a little bit. We're really not taking a lot of damage from them either. I'm gonna pull out my Thorata. Okay, so see how much AP it takes now to use Ma Thorata? It's a huge amount. So it's definitely not quite the fat. Whoa! It's definitely not the fast AP up thing that we had before, which is what we were originally using it for to get those incredibly high amounts of um, critical <coughs> development, which is a really sick thing to do. Oh, we weren't enough to take her out, but we were enough to knock her weapon out of her hands. Uh, yeah, you could. How about we shoot your leg? How'd that do? Yeah, I think we should take the sniper barrel off of this. It's cool for a high damage weapon, but it's still not as high damage as the well dam. And it's the weapon was all about. Oh, you're holding that again? Come on, friend. You know, oh, I'm back in here. Have you got my other queen steak? Yeah, that'll be a big heal. Give us a little endurance boost. We have a lot of it now. Come out. Gotcha. So, yeah, I think since this is still our sniping weapon, we don't need to have the sniper barrel on the... Oh, I thought it said on a successful hook. And I was like, why would you have a successful hook? 100 electrical damage is pretty high. Actually, on, on that kind of thing. That's really cool. It's nice to see some of these uh, Far Harbor things now included in the Commonwealth. I do like that. All right, all things considered, that went pretty well. Why are you... Oh, plasma grenade. <laughs> it was just like, why do we have a giant green bloop of a dude? I think I'll drop a save again after that just to make sure because we've done this so many times It'd be nice to ensure that it's ours So anyways, yeah, let's take this chart the sniper barrel off of the moth orata I like it having more chances to shoot rather than More damage per shot since it will allow it to build up criticals for us more and that was one of its biggest benefits was just using it as a device to do that
All right, now next is to go back to Cabot House. So before we do that, I'm going to kind of like look around to see what if we have any missions for this walk. All right, so getting a good look at the map. We actually have people at the slog to talk to. Some people to get rid of at Dumbwitch Boars, which is an incredibly hard mission and one of my favorites. And then we have the Cabot House to return the serum to. So I think it makes sense for us to just kind of chat and check this stuff. Now, this isn't exactly in our character's main need to do anything. But specifically why I want to go here is... Not necessarily to pick up the cool weapon that's there, but because apparently a little bit south is that 44 fire pistol that is available to us. And I figure that um, that definitely is something we've been wanting to pick up, so I'm absolutely going to head for that. So the slug is kind of an interesting spot because it's a ghoul town. And uh, I'm happy that our characters doesn't have anything about killing normal ghouls. Like, we've had uh, that discussion before, so I'm happy to see that this is just, hey, it's a ghoul town, don't need to kill everybody. But this will give us an opportunity to chat and also potentially a save. Tighten this. Oh, it's Arlen. That's the thing. Oh, no, he doesn't want us to do that one yet. Which is not a mission that we wanted to do. But let's Good see what this guy it. has to give us. <clears throat> Hello? What's up, wise man? Yeah, and I'm proud of all the work we've done. Still, I think we can do more. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? Uh, so they I'll want me to just take rid of some super mutants. I promise. At Breakheart Banks, you say. Where is that? Oh, that's actually a legitimately close group of super mutants. Sometimes they're like, oh no, we're being attacked by people at the Wicked Sheep, <laughs> like Fleet Shipping Lockup. And you're like, God, no, you're not. Oh, game, why would you do that? Yeah, that's actually pretty close. Um, We're not really in need of developing our character too much anymore. So I'm fine with just dropping a save, moving over here to look for that 44 pistol. You know, it kind of sucks. They don't seem to be allowing me to sleep in any of these locations. They're all saying they're owned. Can I... I'm not allied with the settlement yet, so... That sucks. No save allowed for us today. I'm a bunch of jerks. Alright, so... From my understanding correctly, the Hub City Auto Wreckers is right about here, and this should be the spot where we're able to find our particular little gun, the Gainer, which is the Fire Revolver. So I'm going to start heading in that direction, and that will put us in a position to find what's a pump house, which is supposed to have the gun in it. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to have to fight these guys to kind of get to it, because they were just saying south of the auto wreckers, and I'm pretty confident this is the auto wrecker spot. Um, there are gunners here, so that's how much I was able to figure out. Might want to pick up that nuke mine for ourselves. That could be pretty nice. Nuka mine. Nuka nuka mine. Pick up the nuke mine. Pick up the nuke mine. Hopefully don't die. Perfect. I'm going to kind of be silent along the side of here. And see if we can get to that pump house without causing too much trouble. Especially because we have the uh, farm. The finch farm right below these guys. So we find the finch farm right there too. Save for us. Hub City Auto Wreckers, it's definitely who these guys are. Alright, so a pump house is supposed to be somewhat south of these guys. Gunner conscripts, don't really care about them, we're pretty far away. Holy crap. Legendary Raider, Glowing Rad Roach, Ibot, what the? I hear like an Automatron, or whatever, the, uh, uh, Assaultron, there we go. Why is there a Legendary Raider over here? Well, we can take him out pretty easily. Or her, I don't know who it is. Better get a good look at him. Is that a head? That was a head. Oh! That was sick! Little bounce. Alright, um, let's find out where we... Oh, there you are. Hello! Cunning combat armor left leg. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't think we're gonna use it, but it's definitely cool. Took your head off, no need for that. Were you just watching TV? I'm sorry about that. I thought that was a scary, terrifying thing. That was an umbrella. It looked like a mech. Legitimately like, oh, is this a pump house? Is this what we were looking for right down here? Ooh, this looks to be it. All right, before we go in here though, the save is right there. So I'm just gonna be smart about this. Thank you everyone for allowing me a little moment here. Ooh, and you even have people here for selling stuff. A doctor of all people, that's nice. Alright, let's peek our head into this now and see if this is the place. Uh, brackets are kind of wibbly-wobbly. We're detected, but I'm not exactly sure by what. Doesn't seem to be anything particularly scary outside, and... The door can't close. That's really interesting. 
I wonder if this is a glitch in how the game was designed or if they actually plan to have like the door kind of open so it encouraged you to go check it out. Oh, it's a pla- ooh, place? I didn't expect us to actually go through a loading zone to get in here. All right, this is interesting. Huh. No traps, there is a lot of fire on the floor potentially. Zero, four, five, one. Okay, leg bones. Meters, radiation, yada, yada, yada. Buttons. Nothing happens when I push that button. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Inaccessible. Huh. All right, so let's pretend that's a code. <laughs> and let's find a, something to put it into. Everything's a little wibbly wobbly. I think that means this place will explode if I fire a gun. Gotta keep that in mind. Do not fire a gun. There was a terminal up front, actually. I wonder if this... Yeah, hold on. What was this again? 0451. Let's see if the terminal up front does anything. Huh. So none of these seem to be working. Did I miss something in there? Is there... A little button. Maybe there's something on the outside that I missed. Oh! I'm here my ghoul friends. Here, right, let's see use the gamma pistol. Wow, single shots with this now. That's pretty sick. Anybody else? Just just you? Huh, just one. I actually really like this area of the map. It feels the most like actually desolate from the dropping of a bomb. Because there's a lot of just half houses everywhere. And I feel like that would, you know, seems just a bit more representative of what would happen from the destruction of a nuclear weapon. I mean I get the idea that these houses are all wood and so they were just not built as sturdy, so that's why they would fall apart. But still I just I like it feel a little bit better. All right, let's see if uh, blowing this up helps at all. <laughs> nope, does not seem to have done anything. All right, let's just give the room a try again. I mean, I didn't spend a lot of time in it, but it didn't seem like there's a lot of options for me to hit. But maybe there's just a very obvious computer. Huh? I see computers still. I see the very okay. We see the code. Very clearly a code. Door is inaccessible. Buttons I can press. Hold on, wait a second. If I hit this, is anything? Oh, look at that! Little numbers pop up. Oh, gotcha. Hold on, I'm gonna do this because I think it's gonna make me safer. I know it sounds crazy. There we go. It just seemed like a lot of gas was in the room and I didn't want to have it happen accidentally and kill me. There we go. All right, um, I'm gonna be at this for a little while, excuse me. All right, hold on, there's a, I just got a 10 but not a zero. Yeah, I just did that again, but oh look, you can go really quick, nice. So I guess 10, four, five, Oh, sick! <laughs> we gotcha, okay. Is this it? Hell yeah. This is it. Ooh. And it even comes with a bowl. Oh, man. And this is, this will be an easy thing for us to change. A couple good things in here, too. Some pressed auto 10 millimeter pistol. Lead allied middle chest piece. Some good guns as well. And of course, fusion core. Oh, yeah, that was worth it. That was absolutely worth it. All right, I can't wait to try using that. I mean, at the moment, it's not as good as our normal well dam, but we're going to be able to make that change real quick. There's the weird graphic -y stuff happening again. All right, I just did a quick little auto reload kind of thing to see if I could fix whatever the graphical things are, and it seems to have done wonderfully. All right, now on the map, we have to head back to Finch, or excuse me, Cabot House, and then I think we should go to Diamond City to turn in the mission to Ellie. Get whatever else is left from that. Plus, it'll be fun to upgrade our, uh, ooh, radio distress signal. Maybe we should follow that. You know what? No, I'm good. Anyway, we can then update our, uh, gainer gun as well. I hear a softshell Myra lurk. Do you guys hear a softshell Myra lurk? I don't, I don't hear one anymore. It was as if these were once scary creatures who now have nothing on me. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that felt nice. 
god. And look how much ammunition we have for this gun right now. 332. We haven't been trying at all to pick this stuff up, but it's just everywhere. So it's, uh, it's pretty nice to have that. Very, very nice indeed. You know what's really nice about the Commonwealth right now? It is actually still really colorful. It didn't feel quite as colorful before. Oh, it's the National Guard facility. Uh, but you know, now that we've come back out of Far Harbor and we don't have the blues anymore, we're back to the browns, it still looks really cool. I, uh, I'm happy to see that it's still a pretty attractive environment. You know, of course it is. I mean, this was the main game, so of course it's still nice. Hey, what's up? Is this like a settlement? An actual settlement? You're with the Minutemen, right? Yeah, sure. No one sent me, but the Minutemen are always here to help. A pack of feral ghouls. Really? Okay. No problem. It'll be good not to... Huh. I didn't realize... Is this a, like a... I can't sleep here, but... Can I sleep here? No, damn it. That's kind of fascinating. They actually just have a, a like a settlement right here. Or is this just a normal mission? Nope, there's a settlement. Oh my gosh, I've never found this one before. That's pretty sick. You know, just taking the road right now is kind of an amazing feeling. Because it's, you know, we were traveling at night in the fog all the time. And now it's not foggy. And also with the barrenness of trees, you can really see a long way. So all of a sudden I'm like, oh, everything I loved about Far Harbor, I'm now kind of like, ooh, it's great about the Commonwealth, not how, God. That was one thing that it wasn't in Far Harbor that I'm happy to not have. Okay, oh, it's fighting something. Oh my God, it's two Deathclaws fighting each other. I've never seen that before. All right, I know this is really dangerous, but we have the water right there, so I feel comfortable just watching this. Let's get a little closer look. Jesus Christ, and they're, they're both single death claws, which apparently we can kill in single shot with the well dam. Wow, but I mean, it's because they can't see us. Ah, this is awesome. I don't know who I'm voting for. <laughs> it's not, not a very loud fight at the moment. All right, it seems like the one on the right's clearly gonna win. Are you running? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you're going after me. That was the most stupid option you could take. Especially because now you're going to be killable to me. One shot. I missed here though. It sounds like there are more baddies around. Things have changed. Things have changed a lot since we were last here. Um, Death Claws. Not scary. Not, not, I mean, they were fighting each other, but truly. Lack, like, just not frightening. Is it, is it because we have what we did with those anglers? Those, like, albino legendary anglers and the stuff? We're powerful now. We, uh, we own this wasteland. Legendary Raider. Hey, can can you see me? Am I obvious to you? I missed. Well, let's get out the dog real quick. And uh, I guess we will shoot you in the head with the critical hit. Pew! Sploosh. Wow. It's, uh, I know that, the, so this room, I talked about this in the case of the DLC with, um, I think it was the big MT one. I forgot exactly what that one was called, but it was, uh, existed back in Fallout New Vegas, where you go into the... That's kind of cool, but it's we're not going to use it. Anyway, um... Frag mines? Really? Anyway, uh, it was... It ex oh, come on, guys. I literally just demolished your leader. Look out. Oh, right! That's, uh, it's for the boat people. The <laughs> boat people. Anyway. Uh, where was I going with this? Something, 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 dark side. Alright, this guy just is picking at me right now, and it's... <sighs> oh, so the main point I was trying to make was that the DLC of a lot of Fallout games are way harder than the main game, it seems. And when you come back to the normal place, all of a sudden everything is significantly easier for you to take out. Which is... I think a partly because they make you stronger but I think the other part of it is because they also just do a really good job of educating and training you in ways to like fight some of the scarier things ah uh, yeah these are all the people who um, want to go after the boat right 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 don't care about you guys we're just doing the cabin house to get that sweet gamma gun oh well you guys have to just die 
Hey! Oh. Oh my god. It feels so powerful. Oh no, I don't want to go- Oh. Hopefully there's a save. Well, that's not a save. That is a Feral Ghoul Reaver who's now just dead. I like how we're like technically healing them 50. But because we are shooting them with double bullets, it's just... We're killing them more than they're healing. <laughs> Man, this fire is fast, too. Sheesh. Military grade duct tape, don't mind if I do. I was originally imagining that I was gonna go to uh, the Cabot house and see if I could find a save there, but they got one here, so let's just clear out this place, and then we can drop our save here and go to sleep sleeps. Advanced door, all right. That's it. I'll bite. Oh, nice! Putrid glowing one. Uh, it's not doing it. Close the door. Uh, plasma grenade? Sure. That'll do. Woo! Oh crap, it did not get it. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Uh, mines, 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 mines. Oh, uh oh. Back off. Look forward. Legs. Why am I not shooting these guys on the legs? We have so much AP and power. We can actually probably kill them right now. There goes his leg. Sucks to be you. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh wow, yeah, it really does suck to be you. You are done, aren't you? All right, well, let's... A couple headshots and just take our time. God, I love being able to take out legs as, like, part of our strategy. And I realize that I hear more upstairs. Oh, I thought he just fell down the stairs and that killed him. This is sick. Oh, look, they have a... A magical floating hat. I'll take it. It's a magical floating hat. Why not? Oh, I love seeing all the shots that missed that hit the bookshelf. That is cool. Control subjects recording three of three. What? Second dose of sample 42BA7. Injected hours ago. No effect. No effect. I contacted the lab to terminate this trial, but I need to talk to her. Uh, uh, hang on. Mm, what's that? Oh, my teeth. Oh, several teeth dislodged. Mm, feels like oh, necrotic tissue damage throughout oral cavity. <sighs> Serum is ineffective at toxic levels. Request to terminate trial was Orders are to remain in quarantine for the duration of the experimental period. Uh, I understand. I'm going to die. That's obvious. It's right here. Our failure. If you would, Dr. Roberts, please deliver the following to my family. Mom, Dad, I love you. Yes, I volunteered for this. It sounds crazy, but... I believed in it. There'll be nothing left worth bearing. There's just no way. Oh no, that's a bit too sentimental. Uh, let me think about it. Holy crap. And there's another one right here. I think uh, my explosion probably knocked the other two, the other one somewhere around. I uh, wow. Oh man, this is gonna be fascinating. We're gonna continue this on next episode, but Jesus Christ, that was a sudden twist into the sadness, didn't it? I'm very curious. I'm gonna look around this place for that other tape, see what's going on. But anyway, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button to the bottom left. And of course, when the ground rises to meet your feet, wind always be at your back, and the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face, dudes. See you later. Bye.